Rolex can seriously test your patience with its infamous waiting list. But what if we told you there's a way to skip it? Sounds like a dream, right? Well, it's not just a dream. It's totally doable. In fact, our sources managed to do it ourselves, and here's the spoiler. Despite having no prior purchase history, they managed to skip that agonizing wait. Believe it or not, after just two weeks, their Rolex authorized dealer hit them up with the good news. So let's get into the basics on how they pulled it off. Think of it as cracking a code, a code that opens the door to the world of Rolex without the excruciating wait. First off, get to know your authorized dealer. Build a genuine relationship with them. A little kindness and interest go a long way. Remember they're human too, not just gatekeepers to your dream watch. Drop by the store, have a chat. Show genuine interest in Rolex and make it clear that you're serious about purchasing. It's not about schmoozing or fake flattery. It's about building a real connection. But of course everyone wants one, but there just aren't enough to go around. And here comes the problem. Rolex produces a limited number each year, which is far from meeting the constant demand. Apparently the demand always outstrips supply. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, but with a little know-how, it's totally possible. So, what makes these Swiss watches so irresistible over the decades? You see, Rolex has built an unmatched reputation for top-notch quality, technical perfection, and stunning design. But the real kicker, these watches are rock-solid investments. You can sell them overseas for a fair price, making them as good as gold. But owning a Rolex isn't just about having a fallback for hard times. It's a lucrative experience in itself. You probably have an idea or two on how a Rolex is a powerful status symbol, often worth more to the wearer than its purchase price. Sporting a Rolex Daytona Submariner or GMT Master II screams success, style and impeccable taste. It can even open doors to new business opportunities. Basically, the brand exudes pure luxury and people are willing to pay top dollar without a second thought. This level of popularity is hard for other watch brands to match leading to inevitable long waiting times for certain models. But if you know the right moves, you can beat the wait. Now, the secret formula, it's all in the approach. We've had our fair share of bumps trying to score that elusive Rolex. Our initial attempts at charming Rolex authorized dealers were, well, less than stellar. Picture walking into the dealership, brimming with confidence and bluntly asking for the hottest Rolex models only to be met with puzzled stares. We literally said, can you show us your most popular model like the Daytona or Submariner? No research, no clear direction, and way too direct. This approach can backfire straight up, so lesson learned. The key is to build a relationship with the dealer, show genuine interest, and be patient yet persistent. Avoid the rookie mistake of walking in and demanding the most sought after models right off the bat. Instead, get to know the staff, ask questions, and express a keen interest in learning about the different models and their unique features. This way, you're not just another customer, you're someone they'll remember, and before you know it, you might get that awaited call much sooner than expected. Before we dive back in, why not join our opulent Oasis community? Subscribe to stay updated with our latest insights and stories. Now let's get back to it. So we switched up our game plan and took a gentler approach with a new dealer. We made it perfectly clear we weren't just flipping watches and genuinely wanted a Rolex for ourselves. But it didn't quite seal the deal either. It seemed they were a bit skeptical about our sincerity, and who could blame them? We probably did sound like a broken record. After a few humbling experiences, we started getting the hang of what works and what doesn't. Reflecting on our past tries, we couldn't help but think about what was going on in the dealer's head, and more importantly, what we could do differently next time. So we geared up for another try. After taking some time to think about our previous mistakes, we came to understand that winning over these dealers is truly an art form. It's all about getting into their world and playing the game their way. Each stumble taught us a little more about what makes these dealers tick. So what did we do differently for our next try? Well, we refined our style a bit. We're not shallow and we firmly believe that a person's value isn't just skin deep. However, like it or not, first impressions do count. 
Dressing sharply can give you an edge with the authorized dealer. We're not suggesting that you need to dress as if you're attending a formal gala. Keep it real and simple. We chose attire that was both clean and stylish, ensuring it was smart yet effortless. A pair of neat jeans, fresh trainers and a crisp polo shirt hit the mark. If you're usually in a suit for work, consider swinging by the dealership during your lunch break or after hours, already dressed to impress. Business casual works wonders, at least it did for us. Next, ditch the entitled rich kid routine. Coming off as unpleasant isn't going to climb you any higher on that Rolex waiting list. Remember, authorized dealers have the power to handpick who gets those coveted Rolex sports models, and they're not likely to pick someone they don't vibe with. So we made it a point to be warm and courteous. We improve on our social skills, including some body language basics, to come across as more likable. If you're not sure how to go about this, we recommend picking up a copy of How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's a classic filled with solid advice, and hey, it's not just for reading, it's for mastering the art of charm. However, there's a crucial element that can significantly influence the outcome, knowledge. While there's no need to become an expert overnight, having a foundational understanding certainly helps. No need to be a walking encyclopedia, but a little know-how goes a long way. We understood that turning into Rolex experts overnight was unrealistic, but we certainly could brush up on some essential details. We learned about the brand's history, its standout models, and some technical details. This knowledge not only gave us great talking points, but also showed the dealer our genuine interest in Rolex. It also boosted our confidence during conversations. Now, we took what you might call a strategically curious approach. It sounds a bit like spying, and sure, it was pretty crafty, but totally harmless and absolutely worth it. We got the facts on when the dealership usually received new shipments and timed our visits accordingly. It turns out that sometimes luck really does smile on the prepared. On one of these well-timed visits, everything just clicked. The sales rep was in a great mood. He noticed our enthusiasm and the depth of our knowledge and what they had just gotten in the model we were eyeing. But aside from our previous experiences, we learned that clear and honest communication is key to building trust. We didn't just express interest. We told the dealer up front that we were ready to seal the deal within 24 hours if they rang us up. It's worth doing a bit of legwork to figure out which model ticks all your boxes. Trust us, it shapes your approach in ways you wouldn't imagine. But we wanted more than a transaction. We aimed for a real connection. So when the call came, we were there in a flash, card in hand, ready to inspect the watch personally. We made sure everything was spot on. The moment we met with the sales rep, you could see he was curious about how we managed to jump the queue so quickly. Though he kept mum, the twinkle in his eye said it all, we were no longer just customers. We were top of mind, thanks to our respectful and easygoing approach. And that's the end of our tip for today. How about you give this a try the next time you're around a Rolex store? Thanks for tagging along with Opulent Oasis. Here's to many more successful hunts and sweet deals. Keep it cool and happy hunting.